Ah, uh, this is a Martin CS BG16. Custom Shop Bluegrass 16. It has a large sound hole in it. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna we're gonna see if we can hear any difference between a large sound hole and a regular sound hole. I have commented in the past, I don't want to influence you too much on this, but what you want to listen for on this, a couple of things. First of all, first thing I feel is that a large sound hole throws the sound in a wider arc. So a smaller sound hole is like this and it throws the sound out like that, but not so much to the side. So therefore, I think my experience in opening up sound holes before and after is that they put more sound up in your face. And therefore, because they put more sound in your face, I think they put more sound to the microphone. I think the microphone is less sensitive to positioning. So I don't have to sit here like this rigidly in front of the microphone. I can turn a little bit like this and it'll pick up different frequencies, but it'll still get a good sound. So I feel like this is really important for being on stage, for instance, where you can kind of point your guitar at the microphone and you're still going to get a pretty good sound to it. It also helps your bandmates hear it better and again you know i've done before and afters on this uh i've played regular sound holes large sound holes i played the same guitar before and after and and the people in my ensemble would comment every single time that they could hear the guitar better with the larger sound hole and people across the room sometimes they say you know when i compare the guitar they'd say well that one sounds good when it's pointed at me you know i can hear it over here but that large sound hole, I can hear it no matter which way it's pointed. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to play various things and I'm going to change my positioning to the microphone. And I'm going to get a regular sound hole guitar out here, a D28 1941 Authentic, which should be pretty comparable to this. It has a regular sound sound hole. And I'm going to move around on the microphone here deliberately over to here. You know, over to here, over here, and we're going to do some things like that. And we're going to listen to the differences in the guitars on that microphone. Uh, the second thing you should listen for is what I referred to as the bloom of the guitar, maybe. And it's the sound, it's the sound of the notes inside the guitar. And I feel like large sound hook guitars get that sound out faster. I don't hear the sound rattling around inside the guitar as much so when i hit that note it comes out boom like a dart and i feel like on smaller sound holes regular size sound holes that it kind of rattles around in there and then it kind of comes out and i hear the note inside the guitar um i'm not sure the microphone will pick that up or not it might be something that just my imagination sitting here but i know there's a player i feel like large sound hole guitars always push that sound out faster and in a more dart like manner let's see what you think so um, i'm gonna play this guitar i'm gonna move to, i'm trying to keep my positions about the same as best as i can okay so bear with me here so here we go um i'm gonna play rhythm i'm gonna play single note leads i'm gonna play nine pound hammer because I can play the lead, I can play the rhythm. Okay, so I'm gonna play nine pound hammers, you're gonna get tired of nine pound hammers, but it's the way it is, boys and girls. This is science. <laughs>
Let me know what you thought about that. Um, I didn't hear any difference. Because, <laughs> of course, I'm sitting there playing the guitar. But I swear, uh, when, when, I, when I turned uh, this way, <laughs> I swear the guitar sounded different. Because it's bouncing off the different parts of the room. And, you know, it's bouncing off this wall. And I'm coming over here and coming over to this wall. <laughs> and I swear... It sounded different. I, I laughed almost the first time I did that. <laughs> like, it sounds different. <laughs> it does. It's, it's a different part of the room to me. Uh, just you know, a little bit. Let me know what you think. Um, see if you can hear anything that I'm talking about. It might just be my imagination on this thing. But you know, I, I when I when I played this one, when I picked it up immediately after that, CS CS BG eight sixteen. I'm like, this sounds like it's got a shock in it. Um, <laughs> and then I got used to it, you know. But it definitely, definitely, I I heard what, I, what I'm what i describing as the bloom. When I switched these two guitars, I definitely heard that. Um, oh, man, I, I hate to use the term muffled because that sounds so negative. But it, because uh, this is a clear, crisp guitar, you know. <laughs> But it definitely has got some sort of reverby thing going in there, you know? It's like a, it's like one of those diesel trucks going down the road. As opposed to boom, boom. You know, that same truck, same truck sitting in the driveway giving gas. Boom, boom. I don't know. See if you hear it. 